Hi, I'm Tim of Watchbox at SIHH 2018 with Grubel Forsey. What we're looking at here is perhaps the flagship novelty of the entire show, not just the brand, the Earth GMT, 45.5 millimeters in white gold. The watch is part of a series of 33 that will be offered. It's the subject of no fewer than three separate patents. So let's see where all that brain power went. Now the watch has three separate displays of time on the dial. You can see the primary dial, luminescent, absolutely no conservatism here with a smoked sapphire hours track. There's a second display that you can read at what would conventionally be two o'clock on the dial, driven by the GMT pusher on its flank. Ruble Force is nothing but if not user-friendly and readable. And then you have a 360 degree blue globe that will show you northern and southern hemispheres. On the reverse side, you have world time. Now it's important to note it gives you world time in both the regions that feature daylight savings or summertime and those that do not and they're color-coded such that you can see the white ones show you where daylight savings is observed and it's readable at the center of the dial and then outboard you have the 24-hour format with black indicating those that do not observe daylight savings time now the watch itself is approximately 16.18 millimeters thick but it's more wearable than you might expect despite being almost 46 millimeters in diameter thanks to the tightly downward turned white gold lugs. It's actually an excellent ergonomic proposition because of a case back that's broad and principally flat. Now you do get an awful lot of refinement for your money with a full deployment clasp, anything but an anonymous generic piece. You can see this is expressly made for Google Force, paired with a beautiful and substantial alligator leather strap, black with a monotone stitch. Now it's important to talk a little bit about the watch. Three patents, let's talk about the topography. Twin main spring barrels, manually wound. The watch beats away at 21,600 vibrations per hour and in a refinement that should be standard in the watch industry, it features a decoupling device inside one of the serially mounted main spring barrels to prevent accidental overwinding despite being a manually wound piece. Now you can see there is a power reserve at what would conventionally be three o'clock on the dial, 72 hours, and just beneath it, you can see the polynoir or specular finish of the full balance bridge over a balance that's inclined characteristically at Grubel Forsey's canted angle of 30 degrees. Watchmakers and watchmaking theory have determined that 30 degrees is the most common angle of a wristwatch on the forearm, thus the logic of the 30 degree angle. Now it also takes circuits of 24 seconds, so you can see it's actually twice the speed of a conventional tourbillon, and for good measure, it's free sprung to make it resistant to shock-induced timing deviation. Now, of course, there is also a stop works included, and that was just brought into play. The timepiece, easy to read, user-friendly, and incredibly deep. You can see the depth of the movement, approximately 10 millimeters, makes it almost like gazing into a maze of high horology. You see sapphire, you see rhodium, you see what are effectively my shore or nickel copper bridges made of nickel copper and zinc and beautifully frost finish with a mirrored on gouache. Every standard of finish of traditional horology plus a few you may not associate with high horology are included. I would be remiss not to talk about the use of synthetic sapphire. It helps to make the 3D globe entirely visible, including in profile, and it also provides a beautiful combination of box section sapphire with a domed profile at its terminus on the top. Again, visibility is one of the keystones of Grubel Force, along with user friendliness. The watch is big, beautiful, bold, and again, with only 33 being made in white gold, it is destined to remain rare. The flagship of Grubel Force for 2018, this is the Earth GMT. This is the Differential de Galité. Now the watch is a novelty in many respects. You can see aesthetic as well as engineering, and this is a production piece in prototype form. Remember, this may not be completely representative of what makes it to users' hands, but it's very close. Proto number three, let's go. Okay, the watch is 44 millimeters in white gold. It'll be built in a series of 33 pieces, and the timepiece is actually reasonably slim at 15.3 millimeters, much of that due to the expensive box section sapphire, beautifully domed and rounded. That's how you know time and effort was put in, along with the differential finish of the flanks, you can see alternately polished and satin finish, and not in just one direction, vertical satin finish of the case band, and a circumferential satin finish of the case back. Of course, you get 
deluxe appointments in terms of strap and buckle, but this one's all about constant force. And to that end, the caliper here will run for 60 hours with constant amplitude due to the use of a spherical differential that acts as a constant force device. Now, obviously, this is not the first constant force device to find its way into a wristwatch. Fuse found their way from first clocks and then later pocket watches, but they're imprecise, they're inexact, and with so many moving parts, they're also inefficient. Remontoir de Galate, whether a linear spring or a spiral, will create uneven pulses during the discharge of energy in quantized form to the escapement. So how do you make it constant? You do it with a spherical differential. Now the movement features twin mainspring barrels in series, manually wound, 72, well, it's a 60 hour power reserve, at which point it will actually stop itself, but it, ca it could in theory run longer. And that's the key. The timepiece is beyond requirements in every respect. Now, the timepiece also features an angled balance in characteristic grubel force fashion, the idea being that in addition to the differential and its constant force effect, you also have an angled balance. According to watchmaking theory, the most common angle on a wrist is 30 degrees, and hence the angle of the balance. Now, you also note a unique bridge on the case back, and that is part of the stop seconds zero reset mechanism. The watch is all about precision, and you cannot have a precise watch that cannot be set precisely. Hence, not only does the balance stop itself, but the second scale, which is a deadbeat second for more precise reading, will also reset itself to the index at 60. Now, you can see the watch is immaculately finished. A few more technical details before we move on. The twin mainspring barrels in series also feature a decoupler, so rare in the manual wind watch category, you cannot accidentally overwind the timepiece. It's a three hertz beat rate, and as you can see, it is both free sprung for precise regulation and resistant to shock and vibration, and blessed with an overcoil architecture, which in addition to the differential and the angle of the balance, helps to ensure concentric beating and thus greater accuracy. It's a layered effect, creating chronometer levels of accuracy, and there's plenty of aesthetic value as well. As you can see, the nickel copper or my short bridges, beautifully frost finish with immaculate mirrored anglage. The movement is deep and thus pleasing. You look into this movement rather than at it. Now it's also a practical timepiece, so robustly luminescent. It's an easy timepiece to see in any light, bright, low or no. Grubel Forcey timepieces are designed to be user-friendly and they're also fairly easy to wear. It's worth going back to the shape of the lugs. You can see how they turn downward almost 90 degrees with respect to the sweep of the case band. Thus, even on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, I can easily wear this 44 millimeter timepiece. This will be a series of 33 pieces in white gold. This is the new for 2018 Grubel Forcey Differential de Galité.